So when do you suspect hypotonia? Look at the baby here. There is no movement. Positive movement is there. Frog like position of the lower limbs is present and umbilical hernia. Okay. So this is suggestive of hypotonia, right? And then you do a ventral suspension. You feel that the child is slipping out from your fingers. Here you can see that the lower limbs are not at all moving. There is positive movements, no anti-gravity movements. This is a normal baby. This is a baby who is a floppy baby. So suspect hypotonia when there is a dislocation of hip when there is arthrogryposis i have not shown arthrogryposis here i'm just uh, telling you posture of the infant of course frog like position decreased spontaneous movements facial dysmorphism of course down syndrome prader villi zelvi ger uh, lovi syndrome so these are uh, syndromic babies that you can identify from the facies and flat occiput because they're not able to move and pectus excavatum because of the neuro uh, sorry because of the intercostal muscular weakness so all these are important pointers in the examination but it doesn't stop there you will have to do a complete neurological examination and a systemic examination of course um, in systemic examination especially undescended testis uh, very important in prader villi syndrome it will be there and because of the uh, chromastic muscle weakness because of the gubernacular weakness the testis doesn't descend so e genitalia examination is also important okay so if you get a floppy baby it doesn't stop in just doing a neurological examination do a head to toe examination do not forget genitalia also so do a complete uh, examination concentrate on the ofc because a central hypotonia can have a microcephaly or a macrocephaly very important do a vitals examination all the vitals when you look at the respiratory rate look at the respiratory pattern also is it an abdominal thoracic kind of a breathing or a paradoxical kind of a breathing how is the cry you can listen to the cry a weak cry is suggestive of a floppy baby dysmorphic features myopathic facies i will show you a picture on myopathic facies and i will explain you so presence of ptosis high arched palate again high arched palate is because of weakness of pterygoids uh, and temporalis muscle so and uh, that will cause high arched palate which we will see in uh, myopathies and um, in myotonic dystrophies pectus excavatum again we just discussed hip dislocation arthrogryposis etc undescended testis i told you look for the muscle mass is there atrophy or even is there hypertrophy we know where hypertrophy comes we will discuss later okay so this is a mother who is a patient who who herself is a uh, sufferer of uh, myotonic dystrophy and she has given birth to this child so look at her face is first a uh, very expressionless face slack face we say there is temporalis wasting there is masseter wasting and uh, some amount of mild ptosis also you can appreciate look at the baby here very very obvious is open uh, mouth fish mouth we can say or it is a tented upper lip so this is a baby who is a, i mean who has uh, myotonic dystrophy congenital myotonic dystrophy so ptosis wasting of the muscles baby has a tented upper lip so this is a typical myopathic facies so all this we are going to do in a neurological examination you start with the appreciation of how is the muscle so muscle mass and how is the tone uh, hypotonia that is weakness is present so hypotonia is not equal to weakness okay so how is the tone and look for the weakness if the patient is i mean a floppy baby can be floppy strong or floppy weak floppy strong means the baby is able to move anti gravity movements are present that is floppy strong and dtrs are exaggerated central hypotonia dtrs will be exaggerated plantar will be up going that is babinski positive so that is floppy strong so it is floppy strong or floppy weak very very importantly fasciculations so tongue fasciculations we can see fasciculations can be appreciated in other muscles also in a very thin built baby but most oftenly we look at the tongue fasciculations and a ophthalmic evaluation for cataracts because many of the syndromes cataracts so complete ophthalmic evaluation from the ophthalmologist and parabdomen examination organomegaly gangliosidosis your uh, lysosomal disorders peroxisomal disorders so storage disorders can also present as hypotonia central hypotonia these are so organomegaly will be there so a complete examination is done some dystrophies muscular dystrophies can be associated with uh, cardiomyopathies so we have to assess for cardiomyopathy also